Today we will be looking at Bruxer interior design. Our technician will be digitally creating a single unit Bruxer interior restoration for tooth number 9 using 3 shape dental designer. Once the scan is completed and all data is accurately represented, the design can be started. The first step in the design process is to ensure that the margin is accurate and the insertion direction is correct. Once you verify these factors are accurate, click Next to reach the die interface stage. At this stage, we can check the parameters of the cement spacer around the die. In this particular case, we're using Bruxer interior, so we want 0 0.03 millimeters for the cement gap and 0 0.09 millimeters for the extra cement gap. Once you confirm the data is correct, click Apply. The software will automatically generate a restoration based on your installed anatomy libraries using Smile Composer. Now, navigate to the Design Tools box on the left side of the program. On the right side of this new tab, you will see a button showing a dot next to a block. Click on the button, and a drop-down menu with two options for reflecting existing data will appear. To create tooth number 9, we want to reflect the scan of the adjacent central number 8. So, click Reflect Scan, and then click on the crown that was recently created from the tooth library. We first select where the data will be moved to, and then we select which tooth will be cloned. Now, we take the exact mirrored copy of the selected tooth and slide it into place. Then click OK. Now, we've reached the sculpting stage where we will smooth out the margins. We smooth out the margin using the smooth tool in the Wax Knife Toolkit. A 2.16 mm radius circle is used and rubbed over the upper third of the facial and lingual aspects of the crown. We also check contour alignment and margins, and everything looks pretty good here. Next, check the contact area. The contacts are not automated with the copy feature of the crown, so we open them 10 microns on both the mesial and distal. After we verify the 10 microns of space on both the mesial and the distal, we then use the smooth tool to smooth out the area, making sure that there are no undercuts around the embrasure area. We save a substantial amount of time by using the Reflect Scan feature. Not only does it expedite the digital workflow, but it also ensures that the tooth will match perfectly in the aesthetic zone. Implement these tools today to simplify your workflow and improve restorative results for patients everywhere.